Hello, uh, the purpose of this video is to discuss the first chapter in the proposal writing book. It's Effective Grantmanship for Funding by Coley and Schreinberg. So the purpose of this video is to talk about the first chapter. Um, the whole book is very useful uh, to talk about grant writing and proposal writing, things like that. But the first chapter uh, is entitled An Orientation to Proposal Writing. And what they go through is they go through some basic information, uh, a history of giving and philanthropy, things like that. But what's really useful, I think, is the part where they discuss the difference between grants and contracts. So there's a few, um, few words or some terminology that it's really important for you to know. Um, again, the difference between grants and contracts. So contracts would be something like a fee for service contracts. So uh, the county may provide your agency a grant and it says, you know, for every client you serve, we'll give you $5. Um, and they expect you to serve 100 clients, or they may say for every hour that you work with a client, we'll give you $5. Sometimes they'll call that units of service. Um, so all of those are contracts. Whereas a grant is they might give you a million dollars to run this program. Um, the other thing is there's there's some other terminology too uh, about a funder. So a funder is anyone who provides your agency money to do work, but there's public funders, which would generally be the government, it could be the county, the city, the state, the federal government. Um, those are public funders. Then there's private funders. So it could be like a foundation. You might have heard of the Gates Foundation. Um, that is a private funder. A lot of times they're called foundations and they have a whole different set of regulations. Um, they also talk about RFPs, what RFPs stand for, request for proposal. That's what RFP. So that's pretty universal language, although different organizations might use different terminology, but universally among grant writers or program evaluators, it's called RFPs. Um, the RFP really provides the instructions to you on how to apply for the grant and what they're looking for, sort of what the rules, what the instructions are, what the regulations are, how many pages, how many words, what's the content they want. So the RFP is really, really, really important. That's the first thing you should find if you're interested in a particular grant, you need to find the RFP. If you don't have that, you can't apply for the grant or, or you won't make it. The other thing is that they talk about uh, grants.gov. It's like the most popular website to go and find grants. It's also freely accessible for anyone to do that, whereas some of the, there are some commercial websites where you can pay a fee to be a part of, you know, a membership or something, and then you can sort of access their search window for grants. If you look at the Millersville University website, um, there are some examples of those there that uh, Millersville pays for and so you can access it through that.